even functions, what are they look like? They look like something like this. Or upside down parabola. What's so special about even functions? They are symmetrical about the y-axis. So if you think about it, the area of this side here is the same as area of this. Or something like this. And again, it is symmetrical about the y-axis. A simple even function is fx equal x squared. Let's evaluate f of 1. So f of 1 is equal to 1 squared. So which equal 1 squared is 1. If I want to find out f of minus 1 is 12, so which is equal to minus 1 or square. So which is minus 1 square is 1. So this means that you can see f of 1 is equal to f of negative 1. Let's evaluate f of 2. So f of 2 is 2 or square, which is 4. Or f of negative 2, so which is equal to negative 2 or square. So negative 2 all square is 4. So you can see that. Therefore, okay, f of x is equal to f of negative x. So therefore, in general, for an even function, f of x is equal to f of negative x. Please take note of this. Odd functions something like this or something like this or this so there are examples of odd functions so let's say a simple odd function here so let's say fx equal x power 3 so f of minus 1 is equal to minus 1 or power 3 so which is negative 1 and f of 1 is equal to 1 power 3. So 1 power 3 is, is 1. So you can see that f of negative 1 is equal to negative f of 1. It's opposite sign. So let's say how about f of minus 2. So f of minus 2 is become negative 2 cubed. So negative 2 cubed is minus 8 and f of 2 is equal to 2 cube. So 2 cube is equal to 8. So therefore, the same magnitude but opposite side if you like. So therefore, f of minus 2, negative 2, equal minus of f of 2. So therefore, in general, for an odd function, f of minus x is equal to minus f of x. Please take note of this. For example, determine these functions are even, odd, or neither. So first one. So you can see, so if x is 1, y is equal to negative 2. And if x is negative 1, y also equal to negative 2. So which is even. Or is symmetrical about the y-axis, if you like. Now. Second question, so when x is 1, y is equal to 2, so 2 here. When x is negative 1, y equals 0, or fx, or you can say f of 1 is 2, f of negative 1 is 0. So therefore, the function is neither. Please stop the video and do these two questions yourself. So the first, the first question is even because f of 1 is this value here and f of minus 1 is the same. See, you can see. So you can say f of 1 is equal to f of negative 1. So therefore, it's even. The second question is odd because f of f of x is equal to negative f of negative x or 
f of negative x is equal to negative f of x if you like. Because when x is 1, it gives you this value here, minus 1, same value but opposite side. Determine these functions are even, odd, or neither. So first of all, we want to find out f of minus x first. So now every time you see x, you replace with minus x. So which is negative x, all square, minus x, minus 3. So now this one becomes x square, negative x square is x square. Now the negative x and negative 3, I take the negative out, so become negative in front, so become x plus 3. So therefore, this one is different from f x. So therefore, neither. Part 2. So f x equal 1 over x square. So let's find f of minus x first. So which equal 1 over negative x or square. So this means that is equal to 1 over x square. So which is exactly the same as f of x. So therefore, the function is even. Please stop the video and try this one yourself. So first of all, we find f of negative x first. So f of negative x, which equal to negative x all over negative x all square minus 3. So I just write negative x all over negative x all square, it's just like x square minus 3, which is equal to negative x over x square minus 3, so which is equal to negative f of x. So therefore, the function is even. Part 2. So again, we just find f of minus x first. So we just substitute the value in. So which is 1 minus minus x all square or over negative x or power of 3. So which is 1 minus negative x square, which is x square. That become minus x cubed, which is negative x power of 3. So we can bring the negative up, so which is minus 1 minus x square all over x. So which is exactly the same as negative f of x. So therefore, the function is even. So just write even. Please stop the video and try this one yourself. So part i, first of all, we need to find out f of minus x first. So f of minus x is equal to 2 loss of negative x power 4 plus 3x negative x squared plus 5. So now we just simplify. So negative x all power 4. So it's the same as x power negative 4, 2x power 4. So negative x all square, it's just same as x square. So that is just the same as 3 x square. And then add 5. This is exactly the same as f of x. So therefore, f of x is even. Part 2. So again, all we need to do is just find f of minus x first. So that becomes 5, negative minus x, power 5, plus 4, minus x, power 3, plus negative x. So which equal to negative power 5, negative x power 5, which is odd, so the answer is still negative, so but it's negative 5, x power 5. Negative x or power of 3, it's the same as negative x power of 3. So which is times 4, become minus 4, x to 3. And then plus minus x, it's just negative x. Then I can take the negative out, 
so negative common factor. So which is 5 x power 5 plus 4 x cubed plus x. So which is exactly the same as f of x inside here. So therefore which is equal to negative f of x. So therefore fx is odd. Just write odd. Thank you so much for watching.